This is Into Math for Third Grade, Lesson 13.4. Represent and name fractions on a number line. I can identify, describe, represent, and locate fractions on a number line. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 366. You can pause at any time and we will begin under Build Understanding, Question 1. On the way to school, Leo stops at Blackberry Pond. What fraction of the one mile distance to school has Leo gone? Complete the fractions on the number line. So we notice that there is a number line and some pictures that show first where Leo starts at his house, which is a zero or zero over six. And then the ending is the school, which would be one mile or the fraction six over six. There is a dot here for where Leo stops at Blackberry Pond. Now let's take a look at part A. Into how many equal lengths is the whole mile divided? So we can count how many stops um, there are here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can answer there are six equal lengths that the whole mile is divided. Let's take a look at part B. Which part of the fraction shows the number of equal lengths in the whole, the numerator or denominator? We can remember that the denominator tells how many equal parts there are in the whole or the group. So we can answer denominator and we can also place the six in the denominator's um, spot on the fraction. Now let's take a look at the next part of the question. Which part of the fraction shows the number of equal lengths you are counting? Again, we can remember that the numerator tells how many parts are being counted. So we can answer numerator for that question and we can also fill in the numerator, the parts being counted. We will start at the zero over six, which is Leo's home. So for this first travel here, we would put a one. The second part of the travel, we would put a two. The third, we would put a three. The fourth, we would put a four. The fifth, we would put a five. And they've already filled in the six over six here. Now let's take a look at part C. Locate and draw a point on the number line to show the distance from Leo's home to Blackberry Pond. If you would like to pause and try this part on your own, you may do so. And when you come back, you will find that from Leo's home to Blackberry Pond would be this distance and they've already labeled Blackberry Pond with a pink dot. Now let's take a look at part D. What fraction represents one equal length of a whole? So they are asking us to create a fraction where we are counting one over the equal lengths of the whole, which we know is the denominator, which is six. So our fraction would be one over six. Now let's take a look at the last question. What fraction names the distance from Leo's home to Blackberry Pond? And we have discovered that the fraction that is from Leo's home to Blackberry Pond would be four over six or four six. Let's take a look at part two. What fraction does point A show? Let's start by taking a look at part A. Into how many equal lengths is the distance from zero to one divided. So we can again take a look and see that there is one, two, three, four equal lengths dividing zero to one. So we can answer that there are four equal lengths. Let's take a look at part B. How many equal lengths are being counted. So we know that from starting from zero, we're counting one, two, and three until we get to um, point A, which is what we're looking for. 
so we can answer that there are three equal lengths. Now let's take a look at part C. What is the fraction? If you would like to pause and try this part on your own, you may do so and come back to check your answer or just follow along with me. So we would start by saying that we know there's four equal lengths from when zero is and one are divided. So our denominator will be four. And we also know that point A is at the three equal length zone. One, two, three. So that's the parts being counted, which is our numerator. So we will make the fraction of three fourths. Now let's take a look at the next page, page 367, part three. Enya and Kat walk from home to the local history museum. When they are one third of the way to the museum, they stop at the library. They stop again to read their library books at the park when they are two thirds of the way to the museum. Complete the number line to show how to represent these distances. If you would like to pause and try this problem on your own and come back to check your answer, you may do so or follow along with me. We will first label the zero as home because this is where Kat and Enya started. We will then label the one the museum because this is where their walk ended. We will review the word problem that when they were one third of the way to the museum, they stopped at the library. With this information, I know that when they stopped at the library, that they were one part of three to the museum. So I can create three equal parts showing from home to the museum because the three is my denominator. And that means those are the equal parts of a whole. That means at home, they were zero parts of three, and then they stopped at the library, and that was one of the three sections. Then we continue to see that they, when they were two thirds of the way to the library, they stopped to read their books at the park. And so we will mark this next equal part as two over three for the park. And then when they reach the museum, we know that this would be three of three, meaning that they completed one, two, three equal parts to the museum. If you would like to go back and rewatch this video, you may do so, and you can pause along the way anytime as needed.